Then he said this. There won't be no cancer over there. Yeah. Just a young boy. Yeah. <clears throat> and they was getting him ready to come home. So he could go home. Yeah. Church, that could be one of my grandkids. Amen. It could be one of your kids. Amen. Or your brothers or your sisters. Or your mom or your dad. Yeah. We got a lot to be thankful for. Amen. Amen. We got a lot to be thankful for. But it, it tickled my, down in my spirit, brother Billy. Yeah. I see that. Come on. That there won't be no cancer over there. Amen. Helps me to realize, brother Billy, that he's ready. Yeah. He's ready to meet the Lord. Amen. That's the most important thing. That's more important, brother Billy, than the young man and then if he got a healing. Amen. Yeah. The yeah. most important thing. See, that's a healing that that'll never end. Amen. Oh. That's a, he's fixing to be healed. Amen. It may be when he stepped over in the cloud of glory. Amen. But honey, that young man is fixing to be healed. And he, see, that's the greatest miracle that ever happened. Yeah. It's when you got salvation. That's Come the on. greatest miracle that ever happened. Come on. Mr. Richard. You can be sick in your body and you can pray to the Lord and the Lord may heal you. Or he may die. Yeah. But if he didn't ever heal you, Billy, sooner or later, that pain will go away. No matter what's wrong with you. Amen. Sooner, it, may, it may be in death or whatever, but sooner or later that pain will go away. Amen. But that old sin sick and soul, if you don't get it healed, oh, that Lord. pain will never go away. Yeah. It's going to be eternally. Amen. we got to get that sin sick and soul healed. Honey, because one day if, if, if you ain't right with the Lord and you end up in the devil's hell, there'll be torment forever. Come on. And ever, yeah. and ever, and ever. Always torment. Amen. This, sick, this torment that we go through through this life is just for a little while. Amen. Amen. And we all go through trials. We all go through battles. We all go through sickness and, and torment in this life. But it's just for a little while. Come Amen. It, it too shall pass. Amen. Yeah. But one of these days when we Whoa. step over and glory, yeah. honey, there ain't going to be no more sickness, no more, no more sorrow, if you're right with the Lord. Yeah. But you've got to be right with the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Amen. That's the most important. I, I, and it's, it's quite come to me that Brother Hinton always said, uh, uh, he got up and preached one morning and Brother Billy had it, had it on tape. He said, the most important thing today is are you saved? Yeah. And that stuck with me, Brother Billy. Because yeah. that is. Yeah. That's the most important thing today is are we saved? Are we saved? I'm not talking about do you belong to a church? Come on. Do you belong to the organization? Do you go to church every day? I'm talking about have you had a personal relationship Come with on. Jesus Christ? Yeah. Are you really saved? And you, and you know down in your heart, just like that young man, that, that you know down in your heart, if you leave this world tonight, everything's all right. Come on. Amen. We got to get there, Brother Billy. I'm telling you, church, Jesus is getting ready to come back. Amen. Amen. And he's coming back after our church has made herself ready. His question is, are we going to be ready? Come on. Are we really truly ready to meet the Lord? Come on. He's close to coming. Yeah. But how close are we to him? Come on. How close are we to him? How close is our relationship with Jesus? Amen. Have we truly been born again? Come on. Amen. That's a, there is, there's no other way that we can go. We must, the Bible says, turn with me over John. John the third chapter. <clears throat> there was a man, a Philistine, named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a, art a teacher came from God. For no man can, can do these miracles that thou hast done, except God be with him. Jesus answered and said, unto him. Very, very, I say unto you, except a man be born again, yeah. he cannot see the kingdom of God. It's impossible. We can't make it, Brother Billy, unless we've been born again. Come on. We've got to be born again, church. Amen. And I, and I know a lot of, there, there, there are people that are sitting in the church that think they're all right. But they're not born again. If they haven't accepted Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, I don't care how many preachers they have they took, how many times they put their names on Sunday school books or yeah. church house books or become members of their books and how much they put in an offering? How uh -oh. good they look? Uh, you, can look you can look as hard as you want to look, but if you ain't been born again, uh -oh. if you haven't got out on your knees somewhere and asked the Lord to come into your life and, and, and forgive you of your sins, 
you're in trouble today. Amen. But that's the only way we can make it. That's the only way. He said that's the only way you can see the kingdom of God. Yeah. Is we got to be born again. We must be born again. Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter into the second time in his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, the Very, very, I say unto you, except a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Now, this is where a lot of preachers get, like people don't come out in no word way. Yeah. They'll tell them if you ain't, get, if you ain't baptized, yeah. you ain't going. That ain't what this scripture means. Amen. This scripture means unless you've been born of the water and of the spirit. Yeah. When you was born in the natural birth, you was born of the water. Yeah. Your mama's water broke. Amen. And then she gave birth. Amen. That was the natural birth. But you've got to be born of the spirit of God. Amen. If we're going to if we're going to make it, we got to be born again. Amen. This which is born of flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say unto thee, you must be born again. The wind blow where it, listen, and thou heardest the sound thereof, but cannot tell whether it come or whether it go. So in every one that is born of the Spirit, Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? Jesus answered and said unto him, are thou a master of Israel, and knoweth not these things? Very, very, I say unto thee. We speak that we do know and testify that we have seen, and you receive not our witness. If I have told you earthly things, and you believe not, how shall you believe if I tell you heavenly things? And no man has ascended unto heaven, but he that cometh down from heaven even the Son of Man which is in heaven. And as, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting, have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son. Come on. Yeah. Jesus was lifted up on the cross. Amen. And we've got to accept him as our Lord and Savior. Come on. If we don't accept what Jesus has done yeah. on the cross at Calvary, if we don't accept the bloodshed that he shed for us, Come on. we can't make it. Amen. It's that simple. I know everybody in here is saved. Come on. Amen. But there's people that are listening by internet and all around, amen, that don't know that they're, 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 they're sitting in church houses and people shaking their hands and telling them they're all right. But honey, if they have not truly been born again, Come if on. they have not accepted what Jesus has done in Calvary, honey, they are not born again, amen, and they will not enter into the kingdom of God. Amen. amen. We got to we got to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And I asked uh, the fourth chapter, twelve verses. Let me read. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Yeah. No other name. They can preach Muhammad, Buddha, whatever they want to preach. There's no other name they can't be saved. The only way they can be saved is by Jesus. Amen. It's through Jesus. Amen. Jesus said, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. Amen. Amen. There's no other way, Sister Reese. We either have to go by Jesus or we ain't going. Uh -oh. Amen. You either come by Jesus and what he done at Calvary or you ain't going. Amen. You can believe all this Muhammad and Buddha and all this stuff and, and they may come after me now. I don't know. Whatever. Amen. But if they do, I'm still standing for Jesus. Amen. Uh -oh. They can believe all this stuff. Amen. And you end up in the devil's hell. Honey, this thing is real. When Jesus is getting ready to come back at your church and got herself ready. Uh -oh. And I want to be ready. Amen. I want to be like that little boy who was saying this morning. No. And he said, there won't be no cancer over there. Honey, he's ready. Brother Billy, he's starting to fight in this thing, and he knows, he knows there ain't going to be no cancer over He knows when he gets on the other side, 
that he's going to be healed. Amen. Oh, amen. And then, you know what his mama put down there? Lord, don't let my little baby suffer. Yeah. And you know what's going to be a hard thing for her to give up that precious baby. Yeah. Amen. But she knows, Sister Reese, where he's headed. Amen. What a comforter we got in Jesus. Oh, There's no, no words that no man can say to that woman would comfort her. There's no words that, uh, that, uh, that a preacher can say to her that a comforter. The only one can comfort her is Jesus. Yeah. He's, good, he's the one who can comfort that heart. And I know that had to comfort her heart when he said that this morning. Amen. I'm thankful. We're, we're so blessed, church. We ought to be thankful. But we've got to be born again. Come on. It's that simple. Amen. And it's simple, Brother Billy. Yeah. All we got to do is accept what he's done at Calvary. Come on. Ask to get out on our knees and ask him to come into our life and forgive us of our sins. It's that easy. Amen. You don't have to go down to the river and be baptized. Should you be baptized? Yes. Amen. That's part of growing in the Spirit of God. Amen. I think you ought to be baptized. But baptism won't get you there. Come Amen. On. You can go down there and get dipped 15 times. You come up and drown the rat. Amen. Unless you've been born again. If you, unless you accept the blood of Jesus. And what he done at Calvary, it won't get you there. we got to accept Jesus. Yeah. we got to accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Yeah. Amen. And you can have the looks and you can and, and you can be one. You know some of the greatest. I don't know how to put this. Some of the best people that I know, Brother Billy, yeah. that probably treat me better and will probably do more for me than anything are not saved. Yeah. Amen. They're good people. Yeah. Good people. There's a lot of good people in this world. Yeah. Amen. And and, and and some of them even live their life good. Yeah. Brother Billy, I know people that don't cuss. They don't drink. They don't do nothing. Yeah. You know, worldly wise, they, they, they they, they're good people. The only thing they don't do, I don't tell them go to church. Yeah. Amen. And I know that they're not saved. Come on. They never have asked Jesus to come in their life. Yeah. See, so being a good person, there's going to be good people in hell. Amen. Unless you accept Jesus. That's our only hope. Come on. Our only hope, church, is in Jesus. He's our only hope. But we have got hope today. Yeah. Amen. I've got hope today, Brother Billy. <laughs> and it ain't about how hot for you. Or if I feel good, if I don't feel good. I told my wife today, I, I, I said, I'll put it to you like I told her, amen. We'd come back, I went up at the funeral home, we'd come back. I said, if Brother Billy wasn't sick, I wouldn't go. Yeah. Well, that's what I said, amen. Yeah. But it ain't about because my head was busting, and I thought, Lord, if he wasn't sick, I wouldn't go. But it ain't got to do what we feel. Come on. Can you imagine what Jesus felt like? Yeah. After being beaten, Brother Billy. Packing the cross of Calvary's hill. Oh, God. Amen. Amen. But when he started up Calvary's hill, he didn't say, well, if Brother Billy wasn't sick, I wouldn't go. Yeah. He kept on going. Oh, Even when he fell with the weight of, of our sins on his back. Amen. Hallelujah. He got back up this direction and he kept marching up Calvary's hill. So that we can have this hope and this oh, promise that we got today. That this ain't, this is, this is just a, life is just a vapor. Come on. Brother Robert, uh, uh, Brother Randy, dad that just passed away with 94 years old. Yeah. And I promise you, if you could talk to him today, he'd say it just seems like yesterday. Yeah. Just life is like a vapor. Come on. It don't seem like that long ago, Sister Sister Myrtle, since one minute she got married, that's been 38 years ago. Come on. It flies by. Amen. And the older you get, seem like the faster they fly by. Amen. Mm -hmm. I this thing is, my life in this whole world is about over, Brother Bill. Yeah. Even if Jesus don't come back, I'm about done. I'm all done. Amen. I'm about done. But what little time I've got, I want to spend it lifting him up. I'm all. I want to spend it telling somebody about Jesus. Amen. So they can have this opportunity. Because there's too many preachers that telling them they can live. However they want to live, Brother Billy. They can, they can do whatever they want to do, go wherever they want to go, and still make it. How do you can't make it that way? Come on. The only way we can make it is light up the word. Amen. The Bible says, He did know what to do good and do it not. To him is a sin. Yeah. So we know that we ain't supposed to be doing something. We better not be doing it. Come on. Amen. We better be getting ready to meet Jesus. Amen. He's coming. He's coming. He's close, Sister Rich. Amen. But how close are we to Him? That's what's going to matter. Amen. Amen. How close are we to Him? He's close to us. He's close to coming back. We better be getting close to Him. Amen. Because He's coming back. 
That's our church that's made yourself ready. Amen. I want to be ready. I don't want to miss it. But you got to be born again. Yeah. you got to be born again. It ain't good enough to be Mr. Good. It ain't good enough to come to church every Sunday. Come on. It ain't good enough that you look right, act right, <laughs> talk right. You've got to be born again. Amen. You've got to make that choice. You've had to find an altar somewhere. Even if it's just in your heart. You know, sometimes we give altar calls outside in our street meetings, you know, and people don't come. And I've heard Bill really get up and say, that, well, you can make an altar wherever you are, right in your heart. Yeah. And it's that simple. You can. All you got to do well, is put, humble yourself and ask Jesus to come into your life and accept what he done in Calvary. Amen. And ask him to forgive you of your sins. It's that oh, simple. Yeah. Amen. It's so simple the world can't receive it. Yeah. Amen. But it's so simple that ain't nobody can miss it if they want it. Yeah. They just accept Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Amen. That's what the Lord gave me. Give the Lord a hand for his word. Amen. 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 Amen.